I'm Alex Greenholsch. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Spintex, a spin-out for the Silk Group at Oxford that uses nature's inspiration to spin the next generation of sustainable fibers. Our fibers are a fraction of the width of your hair. And although we're a young company, we can already produce thousands of meters of beautiful and high quality silk fibers with great properties. Based on this, the fashion industry has rushed to partner with us. Silk is a major material in fashion and represents over $17 billion in market value in a rapidly expanding global marketscape with a particular future growth expected in Asia. But for 100 years, innovation has stagnated within the industry. The machines that make kimonos 100 years ago are the same that make silk ties today. And silk manufacturers need for hugely inefficient water baths, heating water to boiling in the order of thousands of liters results in an environmental impact that is second only to leather. Without innovation, wastewater runoff, massive CO2 production and chemical consumption will slow silk's future applications and its growth. But nature shows us an alternative way through the spinning of the humble spider. Inside every spider, a liquid silk solution made of just water and protein waits to be pulled into a fiber, an incredibly low energy approach that produces the world's toughest fibers. Replicating this process would reduce energy consumption dramatically in textiles, whilst providing even greater material properties. Now you may think you've heard this story before. In the last decade, at least five major startups have tried to unravel nature's secret by copying the amino acid sequence of the spider silk. Their numerous partnerships confirm there is massive unserved demand for the idea. But Spintex is different from them in a really fundamental way. Our competitors are all trying to synthesize their spider proteins using bioreactors. This is a long and complex process that can't effectively reproduce the spider's protein. The proteins produced in their bioreactors are just too small to be spun into quality silk, and the processing is far too harsh. Our unique approach starts by taking large and readily available alternative proteins and bringing them into a solution through some gentle green chemistry to form our biomimetic liquid silk that acts just like the spiders and is cost-effective, plentiful, and most importantly, scalable. At Spintex, we use this biomimetic liquid silk to spin our fibers. All it takes is the tiniest pool to trigger an amazing self-assembly process. This non-toxic and water-based approach can produce unlimited lengths of beautiful filaments. And running at room temperature, this low energy process converts the liquid into a strong and durable fiber, just like the spider, with water the only byproduct. And we found that our approach means that we can match and even surpass premium silks and begin to approach even spider silk performance, particularly in the property of toughness. And most excitingly, we can offer something truly unique in the field. Using our own in-house spinning machinery, we can, without any chemi chemical modification or post-processing, produce a variety of fibers with drastically different properties on the fly, just by pressing a button. These impressive possibilities have led to a project with one of the world's most famous fashion houses to run tests and make woven textiles using our materials. And we have further early conversations with other major brands from luxury to performance apparel. And just in the last few months, a major performance textile company after having tested our fibers has begun discussions for further collaboration and projects. These brands and organizations are so excited because they've been promised a new sustainable biotech approach to silk for years, which hasn't materialized due to costs and issues with production. The pressure to reduce impact is increasing on all sides, particularly from their customers, who are demanding lower impact clothing but without compromising on quality or on price. And even now, we are far more cost-effective than our peers, with consumables that see dramatic and rapid price reduction when bought at scale. Our spinning machinery, although bespoke, is extremely cost-effective, removing the need for massive capex investments seen with bioreactors. We predict cost parity with commercial silks can be reached at the one to 10 ton point, an order of magnitude lower than any of our competitors. And our capacity to control fiber properties on the fly, unheard of in natural textiles, 
will take us into exciting and disruptive markets by increasing material performance through a spider-inspired development pathway. These unique processes are currently protected by trade secrets with a strong and refined IP portfolio to follow through the formation of new and unique materials for advanced markets. Before founding Spintex, I worked in silk research for over six years at the University of Oxford, which is where I met my co-founder, Martin Friedrich, who's a material scientist and engineering expert, particularly in biopolymer fabrication, as we worked together as part of a European project based on finding out how spiders spin their silk. We're further supported by an advisory team of some of the top minds in business development, silk, and natural materials. Our IP advisor, Rob Harrison, who was formerly head of IP development at Gore, has worked with numerous startups on their business development and brings a wealth of knowledge in textiles. Our scientific advisors include Chris Holland, who heads the Natural Materials Group in Sheffield, and Fritz Volrath of the University of Oxford, with over 250 published papers on silk. And to date, we've been supported to the tune of $655,000 in capital, as well as through several amazing grant and prize opportunities. We've also seen great media interest from a variety of fields, showing there is still a super strong appetite for new solutions in this space. Our next 18 months includes working with our fashion partner, lining up projects with others, refining and improving our materials to generate new IP, for the next step in our industrial scale up that will allow for co-branding opportunities and finally a limited release of co-branded garments by 2022. These impressive possibilities have led to a project with one of the world's most famous fashion houses to run tests and make woven textiles using our materials and we have further early conversations with other major brands from luxury to performance apparel. I hope you will join us in our journey to reimagine silk. Thank you for listening.